hello everyone welcome back and welcome if you're new to today's vlog okay so i'm a little bit heartbroken as you guys seen i have my lunch and i have my after afternoon coffee because you know mom life i am so sad and disappointed because i had three vlogs worth of footage in this camera and this whole time the the first vlog the one and only that i was able to recover was good but the other two vlogs that i had recorded were all in slow motion so this camera has an option for you to film in slow motion and i was using it to record some clips of my square blanket, the not your abuelitas blanket and then i forgot to switch it back to the normal settings and because i forgot i recorded literally two weeks of footage for two vlogs and last night i went and i got all the footage out of my camera to edit and i realized that every single clip was in slow motion like the only first the only one vlog that i was able to recover was good because i didn't do it in slow motion but all the other ones were in slow motion and i was so devastated because i showed you guys so many things in that in those two vlogs i got a big order of yarn i got everything organized downstairs i was showing you how i have like a spreadsheet on Excel to keep track of my inventory i was showing you what i was making i showed you guys so many things and everything is gone because it's in a slow motion and i can't bring it back to the normal speed because it doesn't have audio so even if i bring it back to a normal speed which it's easy to do it doesn't have audio so i can't it doesn't work so yeah i'm just you know it is what it is but anyways let's forget about it because it's gone there's nothing i can do so let's just open this new vlog with new everything and let you guys know what i have been doing what i have been up to and the things that i have been you know doing for my big market the thing that i did today well, okay let's start with yesterday yesterday i went to walmart and i finally got myself two bins that are the expensive one they're pretty expensive they're 30 dollars 31 dollars each plus taxes here in canada at least in the states probably cheaper um they are the sterilite sterilite i don't know the name but they have like a seal around so then you can put your knits and everything in there and nothing is gonna come in it's not gonna uh, have moisture and it prevents from little bugs or whatever there is dust to get in the bins so i finally got myself two of, of those and i was telling you guys that i highly recommend them if you want to store your things long term let's say you are working on something and you didn't sell everything this year and you want to keep it for next year i highly highly recommend getting those bins because you know you everything is going to be nice and clean no moisture smell no nothing so that is amazing i have been working a lot on making baby bonnets those are really quick to make i have a pattern that it's i have my own pattern for baby bonnets and i also have another pattern from another creator that it's the first one that i ever did and i really like it because it's super quick and then i created my own pattern because i wanted a different design so i created my own pattern that should be up soon and I don't know if in the past vlog that you guys seen, I showed you the um, headband that I'm making, the new design as well. I am in love with that. So I think by the time this vlog goes up, that pattern should be out already. Um, so I'm going to leave the link in the description box. I got a shipment of yarn the other day. A lot of yarn, like a lot of yarn. And I'm super sad because I showed you guys how I store them, how I put them away, and how I managed to get that, get pretty much all of them nice and organized. And now those clips are gone. So yeah, very sad for that. But I'll show you guys how it looks. Now I'm gonna eat before everything gets cold. 
Okay, we are done with lunch. Brush my teeth and now let's go down in the basement, my office space. And I think I'm gonna leave, whoop, there. The, um, editing the video that I needed to edit for tonight. And right now I'm going to record a tutorial. So I'm gonna record the, um, what's the name? The headband pattern. So yeah, now let me show you a little bit about the yarn situation because I got a big order from Lion Brand and I got a lot of nice new colors for the thick and quick, the wool is thick and quick. Let's bring the light in here. Get my camera. Where's my camera? Oh man, my camera's upstairs. Is it? Oh no, never mind. It's here. Have my camera so I can record my tutorial. But yeah, let me show you. So this is the situation. This is what we're working with. And this is not it, guys. This is the yarn that didn't fit on the shelves. So all up there new all up here new and up here I also put some all up there new uh, and in here new 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 and that's not new but that in there it is and over here and this little guy over here let me move the step stool in here I got in here all the little halves that I need to get through and then new, new, new and the last one a little bit new and here I have some of my fur for my pom-poms and I have them here, they're not made but I can show you guys the beautiful colors so we got, look at this pretty one okay, the lighting, it's not the best, I'm in the basement but this one is really pretty also, this one, I think it's one of my all-time favorites. Look how beautiful this is. Very, very, very pretty. And I have some more colors, but I think I want to show you guys whenever I have them all done. But yeah, like I was saying, I've been working on the inventory. I've been making lots of baby bonnets, and then I need to tag them. So I have them right here. Let me show you. I have them right here the ones that i have made this is the pattern that it's not my own um, but i i will leave the pattern link in the description box of this video so i need to tag these guys and put pom-poms and these guys also need tags and pom-poms so that's why i have them here and yeah i think that is it for the update i am going to record that tutorial and then it should be really quick like it's such a quick pattern so it should take me like maybe 20 minutes that's the time or even less that takes me to make one headband so now i just need to pick a nice color and when you are recording a tutorial you always have to think about what color is best to show on camera like i have my white um surface so i need I can use like a super light yarn because you're not going to be able to see. And I also cannot use a dark yarn because you won't be able to see where the stitches go and where I'm inserting the hook. So like everything's got to be like very strategically planned. So I'm going to do that. And then I think I'm going to finish a pom-pom order that I have. And if I have time after, after that, I'm going to tag the baby bonnets so yeah that's what i'm gonna do right now let's set up the camera let's shop my stash what colors should i use there's so many pretty colors maybe i'll use i kind of want to make one with these blue this very pretty blue-ish I think I want to use this one for the video I need this I need my 
10 millimeter hook. Here we go. And I need scissors and a tapestry needle. It's my favorite bag of all times. I have everything in here. I think I'll use I use this one and a tapestry needle. Now we're all set. I'm going to record that video and see you guys in a little bit. Hello everyone. It is nighttime already and my hands are cramping. I just finished a few orders for pom-pom. So I decided to get ready a few orders to send tomorrow and then the rest of the week uh, Kel is gonna continue making and getting some orders ready but I needed to make these ones because they were from last week and also the pink one it's really really hard to make because it's so hard like the material is really really hard so I kind of rather do it myself to make sure they are very very nicely made and right now I'm going to, um, I said I was going to edit this the vlog, but oh, I don't know. I might edit the vlog or I might continue making things and tomorrow edit the vlog. I don't know what I'm going to do right now, but that's the plan. So now I'm just going to print the shipping level and all of that and get those orders ready to send out tomorrow and yeah i am tired already it's 8 21 running a business with kids and doing everything at night it is exhausting like it really it really is i am a night owl but whenever you're a mom you're just so tired of doing everything all the time um, just mom thing, you know, not even like, I'm not saying to do everything in the house, not just mom things. Um, that also working at night, it's really challenging and it's really like, it's tiring. So yeah, I am going to, like I said, get these orders ready and then I'm going to go and maybe continue, um, crocheting for a little bit to give my hands a rest or I might edit the video I don't know depending it's still early it's only 8 22 so I could edit the video and have it ready so yeah we'll see what I'm gonna do okay and since I'm doing all of this I thought I'd show you how I pack my orders so I use these boxes the small boxes that are very easy to assemble I bought them of Amazon I can leave the link for you guys if you're interested they are the ones that you can assemble by just folding it then I put tissue paper that I have had for ages and then just trying to use it all up so then I can order ones that are personalized with more of my style these ones are really really old they have snowflakes um, but I just want to use them I don't want to waste them so I'm using this then I put the pumps and usually at the bottom or at the top I will add the packing slips so then everybody I mean the customer knows that everything that they order is in there and then I close the tissue paper with the thank you sticker like that and then I include a thank you card that I usually write something on the back for them so it, it, it feels more personalized so I'm quickly gonna write something her name is Julia for orders that are for the pe for per people that place their first order with me I usually send them a little coupon code in the bag so then they can use the next time they place an order and I close the box with one of my stickers 
that says your studio design order is here thank you and I will close the box and then I print the shipping label that goes in here and the order is ready to go good evening everyone it is seven o'clock at night which means it is a working time for me I was with the kids all day today so I couldn't do much work related but now I'm in full I need to get things done mode so my plan let's get the light here <laughs> my plan for tonight is count again the things that I have because I feel like I mixed in ma I mixed them and I don't know exactly the number of things that I have and I also have been making more and I need to have a system where the things that are in bins are the ones that I counted already and sometimes I take them for pictures so I get confused as if I count them on or not so I'm gonna do that now and then I need to get some pumps ready to take pictures tomorrow. I want to redo all of my pom pom pictures. So I need to make like at least six or eight of each color to have, you know, like a nice picture full of pumps. So yeah, that's the plan right now. Like I said today, I was with the kids all day, so I couldn't do much. I made one beanie whenever they were taking a nap in the afternoon afternoon but usually when I'm by myself with them their nap it's my resting time like I lay down and rest because I'm just so tired but after I rested for like an hour I was you know what I feel good I'm gonna make a beanie so that's what I did I did one of my beautiful fair out beanies let me show you this one, it is with Cozy Wool, which is a yarn that is sadly get being discontinued. So, yeah, I bought a bunch of those, the Cozy Wool skins, whenever I was at Michael's and I knew that they were going to discontinue it. So, yeah, I've been making a ton of those. And by a ton, I mean I only made one. I'm planning of making a ton but yeah I'm going to count everything that I have in the bins and oh add them to my inventory let's do that I need my I need to open my spreadsheet in here not the best angle but you know what I did okay so what I did was just an Excel and I added all of my inventory, the names and everything, and then I put on the side a price, then a goal, and then done to see how many I have done, and then on the side it says total, so it, it, it adds the price that I'm listing that price. To the number of items that I have done so it gives me a total of like money worth of inventory so I feel like that's very motivating because I keep adding more and the, then it keeps going up right so that's like really motivating so yeah I'm going to count everything again because I don't have everything there so the price should go up and then we'll see how much money I have worth of inventory so Okay, far. well that took longer than what I was expecting, but I am very surprised. As of now, my total is $18,437. That is the amount that I have worth in stuff, like in knits, scarves, headbands, beanies, booties, like everything. So I have $18,000 worth of um, inventory, which is pretty good because at this point, 3,000 or maybe more, maybe like 6,000 out of those 18,000 are profit. So 
and I know that I still have so much more to make so I'm really happy with what I'm seeing right now whenever you have that amount of things you don't realize how much money it is until you add all of those up and then you're like oh okay like I actually do have um, money worth in inventory so I'm really happy that I have all of that and now I just need to continue making things to continue growing my inventory but what I need to do right now what I'm struggling a little bit is setting days specifically for tutorials and my blog and all of that because that is another big part of my business that's another big part of my income that I cannot put aside and I feel like right now I have been focusing so much on market prep that I have left that aside so I need to have a balance and maybe schedule what days I need to work on my inventory or market prep and what days I need to focus on my online stuff so that it's equal balance balanced and you know I can actually make um, profit on both sides so yeah with that being said I recorded a tutorial last night for the headband so I think I'm going to work on the blog post right now and then when I'm done working on that I will work on the pom-poms so I can take the pictures and I also need pom-poms to finish some of the items that I have in here that um, some beanies don't have pom-poms happy afternoon everyone it is Thursday <clears throat> please ignore my hair and everything I know I look like I just woke up <laughs> it is not the case it's currently 1 30 p.m. the kids are napping and I have been working literally all morning so I haven't had time to change or anything I'm keeping things real in here still in my pajamas and you know what i don't care because i have been getting lots of things done and that's all that matters so this morning i have been working on my headband pattern so the um, blog post it is done i just finished um i just finished that and now i need to make a few pinterest images to include in that blog post and I'm about to edit the video tutorial which should be really really quick so then when I have that ready I can upload it on I can upload it on YouTube and you know finish the blog post and once I finish the blog post I can go ahead and do the um, PDF so yeah that's what I did this morning I also recorded a small reel for Michaels I create content for Michaels so I was able to do that this morning and I'll show you guys in a minute but you can see it over uh, 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 over there I did uh, some mannequin heads this place for my beanies which I needed to do so I got everything and made the new heads so before I didn't do much with the mannequin heads all I did was getting the heads at Michaels and then I would put like a white plain base like um, one of those um, canvas or you know surfaces where you paint but the, the hard one anyways and they worked really great for many years but this year I wanted something a little bit different and a little bit more I don't know that will look a little bit better so I made those I'll show you guys in a minute how I did it I don't think I've shown you guys already but and again the lighting in the basement it's not the greatest but this is by far my favorite color yet it's like a mix of a very nice and creamy color and then it fades into a little bit darker color 
very 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 pretty I'm so obsessed with this color and I cannot wait to put it on all my beanies by the time this video goes up these ones should be listed in my Etsy shop and my Shopify store so you can go there and purchase if you want and um, other new colors are this gray one that it's also super super pretty I love it and another new one um where is it i think i have made one so far of these other colors so it's buried under here here i don't know if i showed you guys already but maybe i'm repeating myself this other one is also really really pretty look at all those beautiful colors another new one and i have a couple more that are new that i need to finish Okay, and let me quickly show you the mannequin heads in here before I continue with my computer stuff. But basically what I did, okay, so before I used to have something like this. Let's say we had like a white board, not this, but it was white and I would just glue the mannequin on that and that would be it. But now, well, I did it last year and this year I wanted to do it for all my mannequin heads. I got these bases at Michael's. I think they might be like candle bases. It looks like that's for a candle. Um, but uh, they are very pretty. They have different colors and they have different heights. So I got, I think these ones are two the same height. Um, so I got the small ones, the small heights for the larger mannequin heads. And then I painted the mannequin heads with a color that is very similar to the base. I used Fog Gray by this brand. It's the Michaels brand. And then I used one of these spongy thingies to paint. And it dries up really, really quickly. I haven't finished this one, but I have to. And I really like that you know that is stair form you know that is the foam situation but the color makes it a little bit better i still have to glue this on here but i don't know where my glue gun went so i ordered one another one on amazon and i should get it tomorrow so then i'm gonna glue it and it'll be like it'll stuck in here which is what you want. You could also do this, I guess, because it's not moving. Like, you can also leave it like that instead of gluing it. But, I don't know. Easy transportation, I guess, if you have it like this. I'm just afraid that if somebody's moving my table, this would, like, easily move and fall. <laughs> and I don't want that to happen, so I'm probably going to glue it. And then... Uh, yeah, and so that's for the big ones. And then for the little guys, I have a ball, just a regular ball. Also painted it. And in here, because you can see the black, I think I might paint this. But I only use... Oops, come here. I only use these guys for the bonnets. And luckily, the ties... Um, won't allow that to show so I don't know I might just leave it like that or I might paint that with the same paint I think that would be better um, but yeah so I have other mannequin heads that I used before that I could still reuse but the thing is that I'm really really liking these like faceless mannequins rather than the ones with the face I don't know so I might get more of those and just get rid of the other ones. I might keep the other ones because why not? I just like having everything looking the same. But yeah, I think it looks really, really cute. Hello, everyone. Oh, Jesus. I'm okay. Um, happy Sunday. I think today is going to be the last day of this vlog. We are coming back from... A weekend at my in-laws we had a really good time it was fun but coming home from
from a trip, even if it's as small as two days with kids, it's, you know, it's a lot. So I need to throw a lot of laundry or maybe two. I'm gonna do that and I, I am tired, but I think that I need to get a few things done tonight. I'm gonna show you guys in a second what I made this weekend. So I was able to make a few things and it's funny because I posted it on Instagram. I'm gonna leave it in here. What I what you guys thought that I was gonna be able to make in one weekend. And most of you I can remember I'm gonna check in a second actually because I cannot remember to save my life. Okay, so 46% of you guys said that I can make in a weekend between 11 to 20 pieces, which you guys were right. I was able to make, I think, 12 or 13 pieces. And I could have definitely made more, but we have had a few very rough nights with Isa and getting super little sleep and going out and doing things. I wasn't like sitting on the couch the whole weekend knitting and crocheting. That sounds really good, but no, I didn't. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll show you guys in a second. I'm just going to throw this load of laundry in. Okay, so here are the things that I was able to make this weekend. So I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, baby beanies. These ones are six to 12, so they're not as small as the zero to three. <laughs> Uh, what, how many did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I made four bonnets. So eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I also made an adult beanie. This one is done. I only have to cast off those stitches and it is done and weaving the ends. And that is done as well. So I made 13 pieces this weekend. And again, it is obviously not as much as I, I would have liked to, but it is what it is. Keeping things real in here. We didn't have very good nights of sleep with Isabella, so that's what I was able to make. Okay, friends, I am done. I was able to put the logos for all the new hats and bonnets that I made this weekend and I also was able to put all the logos and tags on the bonnets that I made before as finishing up all the beanies that I had before I think I'm going to call it a day it is um, 10 30 which is actually a little bit early for me so I'm really excited for that I was able to finish all of that I have my um, thing in here that now that I'm thinking about it I don't even know if I showed you guys this because I know that I did show it in a vlog but I don't remember if that was one of the vlogs where the everything was like not good because all the footage was in slow motion so I don't know I'll quickly show you in case that didn't go on a vlog because I don't remember actually putting it on a vlog so that must be in one of those clips I showed you guys so many things in that video it's ridiculous and now everything's gone because I recorded everything in, in slow motion but now I actually know how to check it is a box that I got at Michael's and I use these boxes for like everything I have one for each category <laughs> And this is the one for my tags so I have in here turn you guys around but this is how it looks like ignore the mess please this is full market prep mode and there's just mess everywhere but I have this box which is the smallest one that they have at Michaels and then the top has compartments and I have in here um, all of my buttons the ones i use for my beanies okay these are the buttons that i use for my beanies and then i have new tags for new beanies these years the ones that says hello and baby's first christmas in here which i haven't done any 
beanies to put these ones yet. Then scissors, my regular logos, and I usually have a um, a needle in here, but I have them in this little box for now. So I have that, and then at the bottom in here, I have the thread that I use for my logos and the thread that I use to attach my price tags, which is a very nice size cone, and it's like a black and white thread. Really, really nice. I have had this cone for like two years, and look how much I still have left. So definitely worth it. And I make a lot of things, so like definitely worth it. I'll link it. Um, I'll link the the um, cone in the description box of this video if you're interested. And then I have in here my hole punch. And these ones are my price tags. I keep them in this little box here from, from Vista Print. And I design them myself. The CG design. I don't know if the camera is focusing. And then here on the back. Let me show you better in here. It says item, size, material, the instructions, and the price. I designed these myself, and then I printed them on Vistaprint. So I have these ones in here, and I need to get to price tag soon-ish. So yeah, I have that, and then it is super easy to transport and to carry around because you just store this small box and then I don't have to be taking millions of things out it is really handy and then you close it so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog thank you so much for coming with me on all this craziness, craziness market prep I have good news I designed my booth and how I want it to be and today uh, my mother-in-law's my my father-in-law is helping me build in it and he has really good ideas because he's a very handy man and he builds everything and he built my son's bed from scratch so like he's really handy so he's helping me and he had really good ideas so we already have the plan and everything to to make my booth so I'm gonna definitely bring you guys along with me when I design that um, and I'll show you my original design and what we ended up making so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlogs. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.